Okay, Charlene. Good thoughts so far? What are our thoughts so far? Out of five or out of ten? Out of ten. That's a bit easier. 4.5? Oh! The second vlog. My name is MA. I'm a pharmacist, an independent artist. Vlog two. First of all, thank you so much to everyone who watched the first vlog, who sent me comments, DMs, emails, Facebook messages, Instagram, everything. Thank you so much for your feedback, your encouragement, because honestly, I wasn't expecting that much. It really meant a lot. Today, as you saw at the beginning, we were in Budapest to two of my good friends, Awat and Charlene. I pronounced it wrong a couple of times. It is definitely Budapest. 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 So I'm going to share my whole trip with you and then talk about just some of my intentions for 2022. We are at the beginning of the year and I do have intentions that I'm setting just for how I conduct my affairs this year. But now off to Budapest. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Travel day today. I am going to finish packing. I'm working half the day and then I'm off from 12.30 and then I'm going to go pick up Awat. We're going to hopefully get to Stansted at five so I've got more than enough time. Yes, let's pack and then we are going to Budapest. I need to redo one of my nails as well. I can't do, can, can you see? Yeah, it's kind of chipped. Okay, packed and ready. And I want to try and return some clothes to Primark on the way to the airport. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to try and return some clothes on the way. I'm going to pick up our and then go return the clothes and get petrol. I don't know how long it is to stand stead from here, but... <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to know what that song was. Oh, look at her. <laughs> How's it going, Emily? It's good. I mean, I picked you up at half past two. And it's now quarter to four and we haven't crossed the button in front of but Look at this. Look at the traffic. You <laughs> just get it. Good nice. shout out, yeah, it looks, looks nice. It's a full star one. Yeah. But we've never been to Westminster. I have. Westminster you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like we've we've never been to the tourist places in London. I have. So most of them. I have, have cousins that I show around the touristy place. Yeah, but I'm saying that you of your own volition. <laughs> We finally arrived to a nice clean room with an ensuite bathroom and lots of storage space. Yes, I like the cleanliness. The next morning we got ready and went for some breakfast. The room price included all-you-can-eat breakfast every morning until 11am. The food was nice, it was like a standard variety of everything and the seating and the service was also really great so I was happy. Anyways, after breakfast we started our first full day in Budapest. This was the sightseeing day, so just lots of walking and taking in as much of the city as possible. The first stop was the Fisherman's Bastion, which was about half an hour to 45 minutes from the hotel. On the way we went past the Military Museum, which we weren't looking for, but there was an amazing vantage point of the city, so we spent some time looking around and taking photos. There's also a super helpful map on Castle Hill of all the tourist attractions around the Buda Castle district. We walked past Matthias Church, which was sadly closed, but finally we reached the Fisherman's Bastion, which had an even more beautiful view of the city overlooking the Danube River. See, this is okay, nice. Starbucks. 
We've been taking photos for hours. We're cold. I'll be there. Oh, our it's not. Because taking photos warms her up. Did you say that? But us normal people, yeah. You get energized by it. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out logistics for tomorrow. We're trying to get our cafe reservation changed because we booked it at three, but we want to go to the spa in the morning. Yeah. I'm more interested in like an art gallery versus a museum because two most museums they're stealing stuff from countries they shouldn't have been first. The British Museum. <laughs> We hadn't eaten all day, so we quickly got some food and then went on to St. Stephen's Basilica. The last thing for day one was a cruise along the river. Is that our boat? Yeah, so we just need to be able to cross and go down. On our second and final full day, we spent the morning at the Gellert Thermal Baths. There were 10 pools of different temperatures, including outdoor pools, a sauna and a cold tub. There are also a ton of spa services, but if you remember, we had a lunch date later and we couldn't change our booking, so we didn't have hours to spend. The hot springs that supply the baths have been in use since the 13th century, and now Gellert is one of the most famous bath complexes in Europe. I didn't vlog the whole time because I don't have a waterproof case for my phone, so I just felt like that was an accident waiting to happen. But feel free to check my Instagram if you want more pictures of the baths. Honestly, if you guys want to visit the New York cafe, book in advance. I feel like your experience will just be so much more pleasant. We booked three weeks before. I'm not sure if you have to do it that far forward, but just look at how long the walk-in line is. Oh my word. And it was cold and wet, so it must have been quite uncomfortable. Excuse me. No, we have a reservation. We were on time so we walked straight through and we were seated in about five minutes. I have no idea why they call this place a cafe. It's so grand and so Honestly, beautiful and it's joined with a hotel. If I come back to Budapest, maybe on tour or something, I'm definitely staying here. Charlene are taking forever in the souvenir shop. <laughs> the girls are buying fridge magnets. I also went to get some sour sweets. Hopefully they're sour, I don't know. Every place I go to, I find some sour sweets for my brother. Last full day. Tomorrow the flight is at 9 p.m. at night. So hopefully I'll try and come back to the Christmas market. They open at 11, so we'll come back during the day if there's time. And if not, then that's it. I don't know if I should buy any souvenirs. I do want a notebook and I do want a fridge magnet as well, but I'm not sure if I want to get them from here. I might start the majority of my souvenir shopping tomorrow. Last thing on the agenda were the ruin bars, which are very famous in Budapest nightlife. 
There are bars in different rooms of abandoned buildings. I have to be honest, it wasn't really my thing, but if you're looking for somewhere to get affordable drinks and to listen to music or to do a pub crawl, then they might be for you. So they're definitely worth checking out. This last day was very chaotic, so it's easier for me to kind of talk you through it. But we had to check out at the hotel at 11 a.m. Our flight wasn't until 9 p.m. I don't know if other hotels do this, but there was a cloakroom. We were able to leave our stuff. I've been an Airbnb person for the longest time, but hotels are starting to win me back over and they also booked a taxi for us so we left and came back later. The first thing we did that morning was the Museum of Sweets which is not a museum about the history of sweets in Budapest. It was essentially a selfie museum. And then I finally got to go to the Christmas market. I really wanted to get a journal, which I can't find now. Let me go find it. This, this is the lovely journal I got. You're gonna see this. Thank you. Let me open it. I just buy journals and keep them. So I don't know what I'll use this for, but I'll use it for something, something nice. Maybe my uh, 2023. Ooh, so. It's just a, like a, like a, I don't know, fabric felt, 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 it's got um, no lined pages, which is fine by me. I think this will be a songwriting journal. It's, it's good for songwriting, just because my creative ideas tend to be all over the place and we don't need lines for that. This one will be the one I got for Budapest and I'll put my songs in there. In fact, I kind of feel like this will be the journal that I write my next album in. That would be nice. We spent the rest of the afternoon trying to get a few sights in, but because the weather got so cold, the wind was piercing. <laughs> I made the tragic mistake of not dressing for the weather. In the morning, it was a bit warmer and I didn't want to carry my big scarf around with me. So I left it in the cloakroom and I was really regretting that decision by three o'clock. We were trying to find, I think their sculpture is a piece that commemorates the Jews in Budapest and it has lots of shoes. Um, I don't know the name of it, but we wanted to go and see it. And the map, Google Maps was just not, we just couldn't find it. And meanwhile, it's raining and it's cold and it's windy. By the time we got to the airport, none of us were feeling well. It's a bit of a dampener on our trip towards the end, but I still had an amazing time. So that was it, that's Budapest. If I went back, what I would do differently is I would spend a lot more time inside the buildings. I prefer going into spaces and reading more about the history and stuff, but because we didn't book any of that there was just no way to get those tickets on the day i would definitely book tickets to go inside the houses of parliament i think i would really enjoy that and then also i think houdini what's his first name is it robert robert houdini let me not disgrace myself harry harry houdini it's harry harry houdini's childhood home is in budapest and you can go inside we didn't do that but those are the things I'd like to do next time. I think by far my favorite thing was the night cruise along the Danube River. That was just beautiful. Seeing all the lights was just so stunning. If you've been to Budapest, what was your favorite thing about the city? If not, what's your favorite city to visit? And where should I go next? This year, I want to do more traveling. Obviously, we're still in a pandemic, but it's cheaper to fly to some European countries than it is to take the train within the UK. But you had your... You wait. So that means that I am still going to travel. Intentions for 2022. I don't know, the topic is so big. You almost look at the whole year and you just think, what are the possibilities? But we're already at the end of January and I don't want to say that in a way to make it seem like we're running out of time or you know we have to get on it i'm just saying like it, it is the end of january and i do want to be intentional about how i approach the year i've still been figuring that out this has been a very slow start to the year for me some years i have been on it so motivated to change or to to be better at certain things this year i'm tired <laughs> 
a lot of people that I speak to are tired. I think that's okay. The cumulative stress, fatigue, mental exhaustion of the last two years has heaped up for some people, definitely for me in some areas. And so I'm entering 2022 or I have entered 2022 with a cautious optimism, but also this feeling of I'm going to take every day as it comes. My intentions for the year are basically along two themes. The first is discipline and the second is consistency. That's it, I don't have any one line resolutions, a bunch of different bullet points of things that I want to do. I don't have reach this specific career milestone or do this in my personal life or do that. I don't have any of that. This year, I just want to be disciplined and I want to be consistent. Discipline, I want to be disciplined in my songwriting, vocal practice, music theory, in learning the piano, in learning the guitar, everything that makes me the musician that I am. Not to say that I haven't been doing that, especially the last couple of years, my voice specifically has matured a lot and I'm making smarter decisions with how I sing and how I express myself. I feel very much like I am growing into myself as an artist, but I want to know my craft and to learn it and to really be a good, knowledgeable singer. I think that's what I want. So that's the first thing. This is one of the things I want to be consistent with this year, this vlog. I had thought I'll just post an episode and see how it goes, but I'm pretty sure now that it's something that I want to continue for the rest of the year at least. Initially that had meant a, a video every two weeks. I would like to average something like that, but I know that this is already late. I made it before the end of the month, so I'm proud of myself for that. If it's once a month, then so be it. I hope it's gonna be more frequently. I think like consistency and discipline kind of work hand in hand. Two sides of the same coin. I wanna be disciplined enough to do what I need to do behind the camera, um, in the rehearsal room, you know, in the library when I'm studying all that. And then I want to be consistent enough to be showing, you know, the fruits of that labor to you as the people who are following my journey. Whether that is on YouTube with the vlog, in shows, which I have not done a show, I don't even know when, maybe 2020, releases. I'm so excited for my next song. Campaigns, all of the fun things that you see, those are the things I want to be consistent in. The only other thing I want from this year is just to give myself a break. We can be so hard on ourselves. And I just wish for us, meaning me and you who's watching this, I want us to be kinder to ourselves. Anywhere you go, you can find an external voice to put you down, to make you feel like you're not good enough or to make you feel like you're not wanted. And there's just so many different, there's a barrage of different things that can make us feel like that. Why do we add to that? And I'm asking myself, like, why do I add to that by talking negatively to myself or if I make a mistake? Because if the world's gonna end, why do I put myself under that pressure as well? The whole world is doing it and now I've come to do it to myself. I just want in 2020 to give myself grace. Grace to make mistakes. I want to give myself grace to just learn things at a pace that is manageable. I don't need to understand everything tomorrow. I don't need to understand all of the different jazz scales of the guitar. I just don't. I don't need to learn that in a month. I can learn the guitar slowly. I can learn all of these new skills on the piano or vocal skills slowly. I have a tendency to take things so seriously, especially with, with music, that it stops being fun. And I don't want to sacrifice the fun of what I do in the arts. Because I know what's the point? There is actually no point. I do music because I'm passionate about it and because I enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, you start to lose the passion and then what have you got? It's not worth it otherwise. So I don't know if I've explained that properly, but whatever it is for you in this year, I just want you to enjoy learning it. <laughs> 
So those are the two things. I want to be disciplined and consistent with my career and just with life in general. And I want to give myself grace. Let me know what your intentions are for the year. If you have resolutions, if you keep resolutions, what are you working towards? anything let me know and that's it the second vlog is done if you want to help please subscribe or leave a comment or like or share engage somehow if you do that then the next video i publish will just be seen by a few more people and that's how we grow thank you for watching see you next time